Welcome to Andrea Carlevaris, welcome to Media um, Plaza in, uh, in Turin. Uh, the, first, uh, the first question, uh, the first impression of uh, this uh, event, of uh, this uh, meeting. It is uh, very impressive um, the way uh, the city of Turin is, uh, has welcomed so many people for this, for this event. Um, I think it's a very good opportunity for the city and uh, for the entire um, Chambers Federation to be, to be here in, uh, in Italy. So. What is the, the role of institutions uh, for, uh, for the business, for, uh, for the globalization, for the world of uh, Chambers? Well, um, institutions play in a, a very important role in dispute resolution. They do not themselves settle the disputes, they are not courts in, in a technical sense, but they administer the proceedings. So they have important roles at various stages of the proceedings starting from the selection of arbitrators, whenever the parties haven't done so, in the case of the ICC, International Court of Arbitration, to the scrutiny uh, of the draft award, of the draft decision made by the arbitrators at the end of the case. And in between the, in the beginning and the end of the, uh, of the proceedings, there are several administrative tasks that are um, performed by, by the institution. For you, uh, what are the topics uh of uh, these uh, three days? Sorry, of the? Of the topics, uh, the target uh, of, uh, of this event. Well, uh, as far as dispute resolution is, is concerned, the purpose of the session we just had was in a way to spread the culture of uh, dispute resolution outside uh, state courts and to make this better known to uh, large enterprises but even more so to uh, small and medium enterprises. Uh, this can be something obvious in certain jurisdictions, less obvious in other jurisdictions, and the opportunity of a meeting such as this one is precisely to get to know people who come from very different parts of the world, uh, where the culture of arbitration and of alternative dispute resolution is not as widespread as it is, for example, in Europe or in North America. What about the organization? I'm quite impressed for what I've, of what I've seen. Uh, again, I think the um, uh, Turin in general has to be commended for the way it has organized this, uh, this meeting. Turin is uh, the core of the world in, uh, in these days. Absolutely. And I've had the experience of previous similar meetings, uh, which are held every, every uh, second year. And I must say that uh, this has absolutely nothing to envy to other uh, previous occasions where a similar meeting was, was organized. Our dispute resolution session was, I would say, even more successful today and better attended than it was in the past. E approfittiamo anche di una battuta in italiano perché abbiamo chiaramente un ospite istituzionale italiano e vorrei eh, chiederle, secondo lei, quali sono stati i plus che hanno permesso a Torino di ottenere un congresso così importante, di battere altre concorrenti? Io credo un... Uh, uh, un... Camera di Commercio locale estremamente dinamica, che lo ha voluto fortemente e in generale credo che quando si invitano ospiti, migliaia di ospiti da tutto il mondo a venire in Italia la reazione è sempre molto positiva per evidenti ragioni. Torino è diventata una città in grado di accogliere anche grandi eventi di tipo congressuale, una maturazione che c'è stata soprattutto in questi ultimi anni, quindi a livello di logistica è una città in grado di supportare anche questo tipo di, di, di eventi appunto. Cosa ne dice? Io tra l'altro non conoscevo la struttura del, del lingotto che sembra ideale per ospitare eventi di questo tipo. Quindi insomma promossi? Senz'altro per quello che ho visto. <ride>